Global Nationals MPs have delivered an embarrassing parliamentary defeat to the government after joining with Labor to install Lou O'Brien as Deputy Speaker. The little-known Queensland MP defected from the Nationals over a stoush with party leader Michael McCormack. Live to political reporter Eliza Edwards, Eliza, the bad blood sparked a showdown in the House. It sure did, Laura, and it's all come from that failed bid to overthrow Michael McCormack as leader, Labor using a tactical ploy to expose those divisions, nominating Lou O'Brien as Deputy Speaker, quite a prestigious role in the House of Representatives, and one that comes with a substantial pay rise. He then won the ballot with the support of Labor, the Independents and at least five Nationals MPs who voted against their own government's pick for the job. Mr O'Brien has told Sky News he's simply acting in the interests of his constituents. Now that I sit outside the National Party, uh, I decided to uh, accept the nomination as an LNP member uh, for, for Wide Bay and, uh, and a proud member of the Morrison government. So I'm very happy. I'm happy to succeed. Now I've got to get about the job of uh, being a good deputy speaker. Laura, Barnaby Joyce backers are believed to be among those who broke ranks, including George Christensen, Ken O'Dowd, also confessing he voted against the government. Lou is also a Queenslander, uh, LNP, I'm LNP. Uh, you know, and I've, I've really took my hat off to Lou for standing, making a stand. Uh, and as I said before, you know, for, fortune favours the brave. He was brave enough to make those uh, big steps and he made them, uh, fully realising the con consequences of those steps. But look at that, he come out in front. But uh, he was a Queenslander and I thought Queenslanders were unrepresentative in Michael McCormick's government. And uh, so that was one of my reasons, uh, a lot of my reasons. Laura, this could be viewed as a message to Scott Morrison that Mr Joyce and his backers will be willing to cross the floor despite Mr Joyce denying that's the case. It'll also make for a very tense party room meeting this morning.